Hey guys, second live for the day, I know, but just got off a phone call to one of my um, housemates slash residents and it's better the devil you know. What does that mean? So he's expressed interest that he is thinking of leaving the house because his uh, hours has been cut short or that he got a pay cut recently because of COVID. So as a result of that, he's decided that he's going to move out to a place that is $100 cheaper than what he's paying at the moment. And to be honest, right now, what he's paying is pre-COVID price. And he probably knows that as well. And he's polite enough not to be asking for a discount because uh, he uh, was working, has been working normal hours until now. And he was a bit embarrassed to ask me for um, a rent reduction. Hello, Luke. And instead of asking for a rent reduction and feeling embarrassed about it, he actually said he'll just move out. And I totally get that. Yes, I know COVID affects me, Luke, and I'm dealing with it every day, but with a smile. Anyway, so he basically said he was going to leave. And I said to him, well, have you paid the deposit on the other place? And he said, no, he hasn't. So I said, well, how about this? Would you consider uh, that if I match the rent that you would stay? And so I thought, didn't think he was expecting that um, because he was so embarrassed to even tell me that he, you know, is of a situation. And, you know, for a lot of people, it's, you know, it's it, they feel like a failure and they've got a pay cut and then they're having to ask for people for help. And I totally get that. Get that. And he said, oh, look, you know, no offense. He's like, um, the place is not as good, but I think I feel more comfortable going there. And then I'm like, well, can you tell me why? Why um, is it that you would rather go? if I were to match it and you're telling me this room that my room is better. And so he told me that, look, I don't want to feel indebted to you. Boom. <laughs> I, I, you know, I never thought of that. And he felt like he was going to be indebted to me and he felt so bad about it. And I said to him, you know what? Don't, please don't think like that. In fact, you know, I'm grateful that if he chooses to stay, that he's doing me a favor because I don't have to find someone else. And who knows, that new person that comes into the house is not going to look after my place. And in fact, this particular resident had been really good to me as well. Like he's one of the more responsible ones. He's helped me keep the place clean. He's helped me buy certain things and then I reimburse him. You know, he's a really, really helpful, kind of almost like, you know, the head person in that house. And I told him, you know, you've been doing a lot of things for me and, you know, I'll be grateful that you actually stayed and please don't feel like you're indebted to me at all. And so he said he's going to go think about it for a couple of hours. So he went to think about it the whole day. And so he came back to me and said Mommy. he will stay. And I said, don't worry, I will Mommy, treat it like a slave. Mommy. Yes. Okay. Um, I want yogurt. Okay, I'll get it later. All right, that's my cue to go now. But anyway, I uh, managed to save a resident. Um, mm -hmm. Although I d did get a pay cut myself, my business pay cut. But at least it's the better the devil you know. And I have a dependable resident. So um, Luke is saying communication, Hi. people talk about it, shy guys. Yeah, look, I don't, it's maybe shy, but I think maybe there is a bit of ego as well. People don't like to feel like they, they're they lesser person because, you know, they've got a bit of a, a pay decrease. So anyway, getting totally distracted Hi. now. Time for me to go. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.